What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about the Springfield Hellcat. I just got the new optics adapter plate from CNH Precision. Now, if you haven't seen my other video that I did on this, I'll link it down below. I had some problems with the first plate they sent me. So I just got the new plate. It's a new updated version. So let's take a look at it. A couple months ago, I ordered the new EPS carry and an adapter plate from CNH Precision. They showed up. I went to put the EPS carry on my Springfield Hellcat Pro and the adapter plate was the same adapter plate used for a 407 or a 507k Holosun. When I set the plate on and then put the EPS carry on, it was loose on those recoil lugs and then when I used the screws that they sent me, they were too long so that red dot was just loose on top. Like I said, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below, you can go watch that. So I went through a few troubleshooting steps. I got the parts that came with the Holosun, it comes with the plate itself and some screws, mix and match between the CNH Precision plate and some screws with the, that came with the Holosun and got it to work, but it wasn't perfect. It still moved around a little bit. Yeah, I could screw it down tight. The screw on the right side over here was bottoming out on that um, spring in there for the extractor. So I reached out to them, asked them what the deal was. Supposedly when they got their prototype EPS to start making the plates, uh, it had a different footprint than what was on the actual EPS when they showed up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the bottom side of the EPS carry. You see all those holes right up here on the top? and right next to the holes where the screws go through. Those are for recoil lugs on the plates or in your slide. So the EPS carry has six spots for recoil lugs, whereas the Holosun 407 or 507K only has spots for two. This is the plate that came with the Holosun. You can see it has four recoil lugs, two at the top and two down here next to the screw holes. And that plate fits on the Springfield Hellcat. It fits down in there nice and snug, and I was just gonna use that. The reason I bought the CNH Precision plate was because it was a little bit thinner than the factory plate that came with the Holosun. I'm not sure if my camera will focus, but I'll try and show you the difference here. And it might be hard to tell. The CNH Precision is over here on this side, and this is the Holosun. The difference isn't that much just looking at these, but when it's on the gun, that makes a big difference. That extra millimeter or two to adjust the height of your red dot up a little bit and can prohibit co-witnessing or not let you see as much of the sights that are on the gun. This is the new plate that CNH sent me. Now it's got, it's got two lugs up top and two right next to the screw holes, just like the factory Holosun plate. The only difference, one, this is a little bit thinner, and two, it's got this little bump out on the back, just like the slide on the Hellcat Pro. So this thing fits perfectly. There's no gaps, no places for dust and dirt and lint and all that other stuff to collect. This fits perfectly in the slide. So I'm gonna take this EPS carry, use that adapter plate, throw it on here, and we'll see how it looks on the Hellcat. Go over a few things you might wanna look for and see how well it co-witnesses. So I've got a set of Wheeler um, Torx wrenches and Allen wrenches and stuff like that. I bought a whole set that I'm gonna to use to pull this off and then I got a Wheeler fat wrench, torque wrench. This is an inch pounds that I'll torque this down with. If you guys wanna check any of this stuff out, any of the tools or the plates, the red dot, any of this stuff that we're talking about, I'll leave a link down below in the description. That link will take you over to our website where I'll have all these links and you can go look at that stuff if you want to. And then I'll just use this T10 Torx driver to pull the cover plate off the back of the slide. So that's what that looks like without the cover plate on. Here's the adapter plate from CNH Precision. I'll set it down in there. It locks right in on the lugs that are machined into the slide in the four holes and it sits nice and flat. It doesn't have much height to it at all. Then you're just gonna take your EPS carry, set it on, make sure it locks down in those recoil lugs, and then put the new screws in that came with the adapter plate. I'm gonna try and show you the difference in the screws that came with the new updated plate versus the screws that came with the plate that I got previously. So these are the screws, they're just little pan head 
screws. You can see the length difference in those. It's probably, the longer one's probably two millimeters longer than the screws that work with this red dot. And that was one of the problems that I had, like I mentioned before. It was bottoming out and they weren't tightening down enough. So you'll just drop those screws down in, then I'll use my inch pound wrench to torque these down. Uh, they recommend 10 inch pounds on the EPS carry to the Springfield Hellcat slide. So I'll just torque this down really quick, get it snug, kind of go back and forth till it clicks. And that thing's on there. One of the reasons I chose this red dot is because it's an enclosed pistol sight, which is what EPS stands for. That enclosed emitter is a great feature. Keeps stuff from getting on your emitter. I've had problems with that before on other red dots that I have. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I love the Holosun stuff. I'm a Holosun fanboy. They've worked flawlessly for me. I've never had any problems other than some lint or dirt or whatever getting on that emitter and distorting the image. But with these enclosed pistol sights, that is not possible because the red dot is enclosed between two panes of glass, which is nice. So the, the CPS carry, it has a lower profile on this little tail on the back. So that sits lower than the 407 or 507 K. And it's also kind of got a rear sight built into the back of it, if you can see that. So if you're using this on a gun where that rear side is built into that cover plate we took off, you'll still be able to line up this back little sight with your front sight post. The install is really easy, like you just saw. It's two screws, pull two screws out, put the plate on, put the optic on, torque down the other two screws, and it's on there. This sight is made for these smaller guns. They have a regular EPS that's a little bit larger, uh, but the EPS carry is a smaller profile. But on this Hellcat, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it does hang over the side just a little bit right there on both sides. It hangs over a little bit. It's not 100% flush with the side of that frame, which is not a big deal. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but on the Hellcat Pro, you still can barely co-witness through that red dot. You can still barely see your front sight post. Um, yeah, some taller sights might be beneficial, but it's good enough for the time being that you can see through that. So this is the holster I got for my Hellcat Pro. It's a light bearing holster I bought from 4Bros Holsters and it fits perfectly in there other than that red dot sticks over the, hangs over the sides just a little bit. So that plastic rubs right on the side. Not that that's a big deal. I could shave it down a little bit if I wanted to, but it doesn't seem to be impeding the action of holstering and unholstering the gun. It seems to work fine. Um, so I'll, I'll run it like that for now and see if I run into any issues with it. If I do, I'll just kind of trim down that side a just a little bit, just so it sits down below that plate that hangs over and it won't cause me any problems. But I think it'll be fine how it is. That's the updated plate to mount the Holosun on the Hellcat Pro. It went on great. Like I said, I'll leave links for all this stuff down below. Go check those out. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and we'll check you guys on the next one.